Yo, what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be bringing you a different kind of video from what I'm usually doing. Um, today we're going to be working in Lightroom and I'm just going to show you exactly my uh, workflow for how I edit pictures. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about on shoot, camera settings, and then um, if you're working with pictures and you really want to get it really, really good, here's the final outcome. Um, you have to work in Lightroom. Lightroom is 100% the best picture um, program that you can you can get for doing this. And I'm going to show you some of these little tips and tricks to create this look. Um, so first of all, let's just look at this raw picture right here. Quick little tips about on-set camera settings, light, whatever. Um, so first of all, let's look at this picture. And this is a raw picture. So that means that whenever you're going through your camera, you want to be shooting in raw. Uh, if you don't know what that means, look up another tutorial. It'll show you exactly how to do it. Um, the thing with my camera, I use a Sony a6300, is that the RAW format is ARW, so I'm going to have to go into this program right here and convert it to a TIFF file, as you can see right here. So once I do that, then I can import that into my Lightroom. Okay, so now you want to shoot RAW is because it's going to give you the most information out of the picture. It's going to be huge files, make sure you get some external storage, but it's going to be very detailed. It's going to be a lot better than if you're just shooting in JPEG or whatever, whatever other kind of file. Okay, next is your picture profile. You're going to want to be shooting in the most flat picture profile possible. I shot this in Cine 4, I think, on the Sony A6300, so I don't use S-Log, but once I, do, once I get an ND filter, uh, I'll probably be shooting in S-Log, but don't worry about that if you don't know what I'm talking about, but flat as flat of a picture profile as possible so you want to make it as gray as possible so that whenever you come in here and you color it you have the most um, room to work with that quickly I'm just gonna hop right into the editing so the first thing that I'm gonna to want to do here is just apply a preset and I'll provide a link for all of these presets that you can go and download they're all free and um, the preset I use for this one is blood brothers so I'm gonna put that on and as you can see it just kind of pops out the bold and um, the pops out the bold and the blacks but um the exposure is a little bit too high so I'm just going to adjust that like that and if you look at my final copy you can kind of see that the look I'm going for is this desaturated yet um, special kind of color palette which I'm going to talk about which is like my own style but I think it makes my pictures 10 times better you have to really think about the mood you're trying to convey so for this I went with kind of like desaturated grungy but at the same time it's not completely colorless and there's still a lot of cool colors but for the most part it's desaturated I'll give you some other examples so it does kind of have a warm feel to it. I um, I thought it looked better than going with the cold feel. And if you guys look right here, if I hover over a picture, it says 6,000 times 4,000. So that means that this picture is in 6K resolution, which is super, super good. And that's why I recommend the Sony a6300. So if you guys are more interested in that, I have a video talking about the kit lens with some test footage. And then I'll, I'm also going to be putting out a uh, video on the lens that I use for this photo shoot, which is a 50 millimeter f1.8. Right now we're just going to go through and tweak some settings. So the beauty about Lightroom is it's literally all sliders. So you can just change a little bit. But I'm going to show you a few things that make it a lot better. So for clarity, I'm going to put that 100% just because it makes it as HD as possible and it just looks really, really good. And uh, if we want to get rid of some of the minor things like skin smoothing, we can go through and do that later. Saturation is at minus 5. I'm probably going to bump that down to about right there. So we're going to give it a tint of about... I'd say seven, like that, and it's already starting to look a little bit like this one. We're just going to gonna go through and add a little bit more. So, next is your tone curve. This is really useful. Uh, if you bump up the shadows, you'll get kind of like a more faded vintage look. Um, right now, these are all locked in because of the preset, but you can really play around with that um, and adjust it. I'm going to bring my darks down, and then I'm just going to bring my highlights up. A little bit and whenever I'm working with the highlights I really am only paying attention to the face highlights and other highlights that I think are really important because I think those are really all I really want out of my highlight slider because if you can get if you can work around with it and you can get the highlights to really go well I think I'm gonna put the shadows very light make this kind of like a more faded picture just because I think it'll look cool okay so let's go down to our saturation and we can change every single one of the colors uh, we can change the hue and all that but actually first I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom and this is where the kind of my own style comes into play because this is something that I think makes pictures a lot better so as you can see in this picture 
this green is completely orange like and it kind of gives it that nice like Hollywood look and the reason I do that is I go here and I change my blue primary to like that and as you can see this already kind of looks pretty cool and then you can change your red primary to orange and what that is gonna do is it's gonna give you that contrast of blue and orange look which you've seen like so many Hollywood movies if you know who Sam Coulter is this is like the number one look he uses and it's just a great color grade in my opinion I think it makes pictures look like a hundred times better so I'm gonna do that and that's the color grade that I like to look and that's the color grade that I like to use um, you can adjust the green if you like I'm gonna keep that like that so still desaturated um, and then you can just change the red to make that as red as you want and this one still seems a little bit more saturated than my original so I'm just gonna go back up and I'm gonna bump down the vibrance like that okay so that is really the key and uh, the number one like secret recipe I have to editing my pictures and this has to all be in the in-camera calibration so I don't know if I said that at first but it's at the very bottom if this is closed just check that down saturation um, Whenever I was buffing up the orange, for example, in this picture, he's wearing red. So if I want to keep that red color, I can just bump it up a little bit to make it, to make it uh, look way more red. Uh, and then I can adjust the orange in the background. I'm going to take that out just to kind of isolate it. Some of these sliders you'll see don't do anything or they're just so small it's unnoticeable. Uh, the aqua right here, I could really make that a little bit less just because that's kind of popping too much and I'm just gonna go back and put the vibrance up a tiny bit just because the backgrounds looking a little too desaturated and as you can see it's a little bit different just because I didn't get it perfectly but it's pretty much the same except for a few little tweaks which I'm gonna talk about right now okay so the first tweak is just going in with a brush and completely changing things to make it look way better so here's the first thing I'm gonna talk about it's just gonna make the gold um, look better so this can be used for gold chains you can whiten people's teeth basically it's just a little bit of tweaking that uh, is avail to you, available to you in Lightroom so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna put on a tint uh, actually I'm gonna put in color and I'm just gonna make the color of this 30 and you can literally just draw over this and make it more bright on your brush to deselect it and then just click out and you can see it's so much better than what it used to be just because it, it gives it that little bit of highlight so you can see I did it for here but it's a little bit more dull for here it's a lot more noticeable and it looks it looks a lot better all right so next thing we're going to talk about Bring up the contrast of the entire picture so I'll go back and you can see here it's a lot better it's a lot more sharp I'm going to go in and I'm just going to take my brush I'm going to put it on contrast bump the contrast up and then you can literally just draw that on and it'll make it more bold. So next I'm just going to go down and talk about the last few tweaks that you can do to make this a lot better. And um, the one thing I didn't talk about that is very important right here and that's sharpening. So if you bump that up a little bit, it'll just give it a little bit more HDR. So I'll just pull that back just so you can guys can see the difference. As you can see it's a little bit dull. I'll zoom in and I'll make this sharp. And you can just see it adds a lot more detail. So when I zoom in, and I pump that up it looks so much more HD and it makes things bump a lot more so I don't usually want to go overboard with it a hundred kind of looks too fake and too sharp so I usually keep it around the 40 to 60 range I'll put it like right there that looks fine so anyways guys coming up next for my videos I'm putting out another video today so it's gonna be a dual upload so a Photoshop tutorial so check that out if you like um, if you enjoyed the video leave a like thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later